Welcome to the Dream 3D video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Dream 3D pipeline and how to use various features such as cut, copy, and paste to make building Dream 3D pipelines quick and easy. Let's start with an empty Dream 3D window. This blank area right here is called the pipeline view. This is the section that displays the pipeline and all of its filters in order. Over here to the left we have a floating widget that has a list of all the filters that exist in Dream 3D. We can double click a filter to add it to the pipeline view. Let's try double clicking on a couple of filters. It is also possible to add filters to the pipeline view by clicking and dragging them into the pipeline view. In this way, we can drop filters in the exact position that we want them to be in the pipeline instead of automatically adding filters to the end of the pipeline via double clicking. Now we have some errors in the pipeline, so let's look at the pipeline issues table in the lower right hand corner to see what they are. It looks like the first error is in Create Attribute Matrix. So if we click on the Create Attribute Matrix filter in the pipeline, we can select it and see what we need to change. We haven't selected a data container to store this attribute matrix in, so let's select one now. As you can see, the issues table just updated with a new error message. We don't have any rows of data in our attribute matrix yet, so now we need to add some tuple dimensions. I'm going to add a single tuple dimension of size 10. The pipeline issues table updated again. Now we need to select the create data array filter to fix more errors. The number of components is set to zero and it needs to be one or more, so we'll set it to three. We also need to set the path to the attribute matrix and name the data array. Now the start pipeline button over here has turned green, so that means that there are no more errors and the pipeline can be started. If you look over in the data browser section on the right hand side, it displays our current data structure for easy viewing. I want to create another attribute matrix and another data array, but rather than have to double click or drag new filters into the pipeline view, I'm just going to copy and paste the create attribute matrix and create data array filters that are already in the pipeline. So I can select one filter and then holding shift I can select another one. Then I can copy and paste them into the pipeline view. On Windows, copy and paste is Control c and Control v respectively. The Mac OS X equivalent is Command-C and Command-V. The pipeline issues table updated again, and we need to change the names of our new attribute matrix and data array so that they don't have the same names as our existing attribute matrix and data array. Now let's go up to the menu and create a new Dream 3D window. If we select two filters in our first window, we can cut and paste the filters with all their settings into the other window. On Windows, cut and paste is Control X and Control V respectively. The Mac OS X equivalent is Command X and Command V. Pressing Control Z in Windows or Control Command Z in Mac OS X will undo the last action on a pipeline. We can also drag filters between windows to move filters with all of their settings between pipelines. Additionally, we can hold down Alt and drag filters to copy them into other pipelines. There are plenty of features that make it simple to build Dream 3D pipelines. Using cut, copy, and paste and other features, users of Dream 3D can build many different pipelines quickly and easily. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create Dream 3D pipelines.